All right, guys, here is what they look like after the first main cuts. You can see that they're narrower at the bottom and 45 degree angle cuts at the top. Word of warning, I had a little mishap on this side. It cracked it a little bit. That was the top one. Something happened with the circular saw, but I will not be undaunted. I'm going to glue that piece back in. I'm going to super glue it. There will be a little crack at the bottom, but out in the field, you're never going to see it. So it's not going to be perfect, but this is my first time. So oh, it kind of sucked when it happened, but I will persevere. So the main cuts are done. Um, I haven't put any backing on them. I'm going to tape them together with duct tape just to see if they'll stand and how they'll do, say, in the wind or if I stake them down. Um, so, so far, I'd say so good, except for that darn crack at the bottom, but that's all right. I'll super glue that back in. So there's the main cuts. They kind of look like coffin shapes. Now the real reflective blind has some cuts here for like shooting lanes. I may or may not do that. It just depends on once I tape these together and go in the backyard and see if I can shoot through the V's here with my bow, then I may not even do that. So the next thing they'll be taped together and I'll see if it stands up. Uh, plus I got this paracord at Home Depot for $2.97. It was the last one they had that was camo colored, so I had to snag that. You're going to need this for your tie downs later on, and I'll show you what that's all about. So, so far, 95% good, I'd say, except for that crack. Word of warning. Uh, oh, and definitely wear eye protection when you're doing these cuts on this plexiglass because that stuff, all this dust, plexiglass dust flies up in your face. Uh, if you're not wearing eye protection, you'll get in your eye. I got a little chunk in my eye, but um, I'm all good. So definitely wear eye protection when you're making your cuts. All right, see you next time.